Hi, welcome to the Providence Players of Fairfax virtual pop-up. I'm Mary Zuzik Andrzejczyk. I'm the writer and director of this production of Sleight of Hand. In a time of social distancing and the shuttering of live theater, Providence Players wants to continue to offer high quality entertainment experiences to current and new audiences, while at the same time furthering our core values of participation and learning through creative expression. We will always work to provide an artistic outlet to help sustain and develop our community of member artists, no matter what challenges we face. Please enjoy this virtual pop-up. And if you like what you see, consider making a donation or becoming a member. And when we can safely reopen our doors again, we will eagerly welcome you back to the theater. Thank you for supporting the Providence Players of Fairfax and enjoy Sleight of Hand. We are so glad you all came by for a visit today, aren't we, Harvey? Yes, yes, we are, Esther. Always so good to see our old friends, Arthur and Mildred, and reminisce. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sound so excited, Harvey, or we'll have to ditch you two and make new best friends. Oh, please, Mildred. At our age, we don't have time to make new friends. Besides, with the way our minds are going, even our old friends are new friends. <laughs> That's why it's so important to get together. We have to keep our minds sharp so we can remember all those great times. Esther, I am tired of remembering old times. Me too. Oh, for God's sake. You can't even remember what happened five minutes ago. What, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Harvey, what are you talking about? I'm talking about life, Esther. Or the lack there is of it for us anymore. All we ever do is sit in these rocking chairs on this on this porch sipping lemonade and watching life go by. Fine watching things very satisfying. The internet has some great stuff. <laughs> well, I'm tired of it. I've been on this porch now for 95 years, it seems like, and this, this is the best there is. Harvey, why did you throw your nice glass of lemonade into our lovely fountain? What a waste. Oh, not a waste, Esther, a revelation. I've always wanted to have a fountain of lemonade nearby, and now I don't even have to get up to refill. Ugh, uh, see, you've all lost it. That need for life, for, for excitement. Uh, if I may, outside of me, you all never had that much excitement anyway. Oh, oh get yes. out of here, will you? Yeah. My lovely bride, I served in World War II, which, incidentally, so did you, Harvey. And uh, that's enough excitement for anybody. But that doesn't count. We were just kids. We were doing what we were told to do. I want some thrills of my, my own choosing. <laughs> Esther, you're going to take that from him? Well, I guess I can commiserate a bit. 
Other than my time as a magician's assistant in the USO, our time together has been relatively tame. Ah, the USO. I had so much fun dancing in those shows. Maybe a little bit too much fun, my dear. Good thing I came along to settle you down. <laughs> you didn't settle me down, Arthur. You knocked me up. Don't just move in the book. That book doesn't even exist anymore, Arthur. It's out of circulation, just like we are. You know, before I die, I want to do something wild so I can feel alive again. Is that, Harvey? Well, I, I, I want to rob a bank. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> that sounds great, Harvey. Just what you need. You tell me the time. And if I can figure out this damn phone, I'll film it and post it to the face gram. Yeah, great idea, Harv. I can even be your accomplice. And we can use my mobility scooter as a getaway car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Have you all gone insane? Don't you dare encourage this idiotic flight of fancy. No, not a fancy, Esther. I'm doing it tomorrow. <sighs> You want to get arrested? So what if I do? I'm 95. How long could I possibly spend in jail? This is happening, Esther. Tomorrow. Mildred? Arthur? Are you in? I hate to miss us, but we have a standing bridge game with the Kleinfelds. And by bridge, we mean brisket, which is too delicious to decline. Well, what do you say, Esther? I say this is the stupidest idea you've ever had. Fine, fine. Arthur, can I still borrow your scooter? like to, uh, I mean, uh, could you, well, uh, would you mind, uh, stick him up. This is a robbery. I'm sorry, sir. What did you say? I, I said stick him up. Uh, don't you see I have a, I have a weapon here? <laughs> what? What weapon, sir? Well, this is in my hand. It's a detonator for uh, for an explosive device. Sir, that is a medic alert alarm. My grandmother had one. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Yes. Uh, uh, just give me all your money. Of course, sir. Just let me get Miss Trumbull to give it to you. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm, I'm robbing a bank. What a rush. What an amazing feeling. What a... Holy crap. I'm going to go to jail. I, I gotta get out of here. Good morning, sir. I'm Leela Trumbull, the bank president, and I am here to assist you today. This is Officer Linda Bakri, head of bank security. We understand that you are... Robbing us today? Uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, no, no, I mean, oh no, no big misunderstanding. I'll just, I'll just be on my way. Well, we are so glad to hear you've had a change of heart, aren't we, officer? But we still need to take precautions, so I would like Officer Bakri to see you home. Would you see him home, officer? Of course, Miss Trumbold. Come with me, sir. I'll make sure you get home safely. Let me just take your arm so you don't take a tumble. That's a good man. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, oh my God, you found him. Esther? Ma'am, do you know this man? Yes, I do. And he wandered off again today. I've been so worried. My apologies, Officer Bakri. 
he's been having some spells of dementia lately. And they say women are the weaker sex. Dementia? Esther, what are you saying? Darling, it's all right. Everything is fine. Let's just get you out of here. Oh, Officer Bakri, I can't thank you enough. My poor dear has really gone downhill. He doesn't even remember my name. It's best sometimes to just go with it. You understand. Of course, ma'am. Oh, thank you very much. May I shake your hand? Such a noble job you do. Yes, ma'am. Anytime. Bless you. Uh, come along, dear. Oh, my dear, clumsy me. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. Yoo-hoo, young lady. Me, ma'am? Yes, dear. Would you be so kind as to hand me my purse? I'm a trifle unsteady, especially helping him. Don't want us both going down. Oh, it would be my pleasure, ma'am. Thank you so very much. My, what a fabulous blazer. Is it silk? Oh, why, yes, ma'am. Oh, well, it is lovely. Such exquisite taste you have. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day now. Esther, I... Get in the car! Don't say enough work. Pardon me. I have been married to you for 75 years, and I think I can safely say that this is the dopiest idea you've ever had. Thank God I arrived when I did. I'm sorry, Esther. Harvey, hopefully you've got this out of your system. I have, Esther. I really, truly have. Good. Then take these and cross bank robbery off your list. Esther, what is this? That is the good Officer Bakri's diamond engagement ring. And that is Miss Leela Trumbold's Rolex Submariner. How in the world did you get these, Esther? I made a very profitable opportunity from a handshake and a helping hand. What are you talking about? How did you get these without them noticing? Remember when I was the lovely assistant to the great Rinaldi? Well, let's just say he wasn't so great at the sleight of hand before he met me. <laughs> you are amazing. But uh, we have to get them back, you know. I know. We will. Tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe we can have a bit more excitement today. After all, I told them you didn't remember my name, and I'm guessing you were smart enough not to give them yours. <laughs> so I'd say we have a bit more time. Now, don't think I'm condoning this cockamamie scheme of yours, but I did sign on with you for better or worse, and I guess that includes boredom. So here we are. You excited yet? Mister, I can't believe I thought there'd be anything more exciting than just being with you. Harvey, you're finally right. I'm Mary Zuzik and Drachek. I never know what to do with my arms. Okay. Ugh.
Maybe you can add this to the blooper reel. You excited yet? Uh, any questions for me? <laughs> yes or not? <laughs> well, only, I mean, <laughs> not that I'm just, this is a question just out of curiosity. Uh -huh. Why would they be having a bridge game with brisket in the middle of the day when he's robbing a bank? Is what I'm wondering. Because 95 year olds eat dinner at three o'clock. The, the uh, movie version of that, because it, uh, it had him doing that dance with a Twyla, Twyla. No, you know, and, and no, it's uh, yeah. was it Fosse, Fosse, Fosse? Oh, it's Twyla. In, in <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Take three. There. Take four. That's more like 87, but that's yeah. good. Yeah, well, we're splitting it. We're not splitting hairs here. What, what's that? <laughs> I, I can't hear my, my computer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just making a joke. Yeah. Oh. It was a good one, too. He said you're only coming across as 87. Oh, oh, oh okay, good. <laughs> that got her. But you know what? It runs in my family. We all look young anyway. <laughs> Which the not hearing really works with that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. What do you think Mildred is watching on the internet? <laughs> oh boy, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was getting to. Wow. 95. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I five, Frankie. <laughs> the truth will out. <laughs> I think she's watching porn. <laughs> oh, well, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think she's totally watching porn. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. You excited yet? Yeah, just, yeah, like that is perfect. Okay. You're got just, him, got him high enough to see, one on one side, one yeah. on the other. Because okay. remember, you're not actually displaying them. You're just. I'm, I'm looking, looking at them myself versus yeah. somebody else looking at them. I right. actually, I was trying to get the purpose of when she said Rolex, it just seemed to fit that, yeah, it's a genuine Rolex. Yeah, I wanted you to show that. It doesn't that. matter. It, right. it doesn't matter. We don't need to see that you got a Rolex. <laughs> We just need to know it's a watch. All right. What's that? Yep. The women are wearing their hair in buns a lot when they got long hair. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I just pay attention because I don't have any hair. That's... I know. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two sex day. Okay. I'm going to change clothes. Okay. Thank you. Don't go changing. Da 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 da. -da, -da. Where? I've already changed. You saucy minx. You excited yet? An escape? Yes. And I, it wasn't where I thought it would be. <laughs> we're, we're hopeless. <laughs> Maybe I should just like crawl down and just <laughs> and the first up. up. And then she can just lift the first up when it needs to get there. Okay, when you leave, you're on first duty. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Problem solved. I love drunk Mildred. Yeah, I drunk front last night. Yep. Can you do it again? Than just being with you. Harvey, you are finally right. Yeah, yeah, Lily Tolman. Okay. Oh my mama, my mama, I don't want to go down to get another <laughs> lollipop again. Okay. Do 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 do